the footage and the photographs in this video are from 2019, so quite old by now. I always wanted to make a YouTube video out of it, but the footage was shot relatively spontaneous and unplanned and I struggled with the editing. Lesson learned as a filmmaker, I guess. This trip will always be special to me, because we did it shortly after I quit my well-paid, secure, permanent job at a broadcaster and started my own business. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but as someone who has worked in film for most of my working life, I always felt like I should be grateful and incredibly happy to get a permanent position at the larger company. But to be honest, most of my time in these jobs was hell. I'd been working in film for about 10 years at that point, and I was drifting further and further away from the actual reasons I started film school in the first place. As long as I can remember, I had the urge to create something. And I've suppressed that far too long, helping other producers and editors with their movies. For a while, I thought it would get better if I worked on better projects, but the feeling never got better, even when I was working on documentaries for the big screen. I became more and more cynical and bitter and had no ambition to become anything in this world. And what was worse, I didn't think I wanted to do any real creative work again in my mid-30s. Anyone who knows the film world knows that you have to do your job 100% and that there's no energy left for your own projects. So something had to change immediately. However, in 2019, when my self-employment was still on totally shaky grounds, we decided to travel. I wish I could say that this was a totally planned investment in myself, but it wasn't. It was purely a decision of YOLO. Looking back, however, this trip and this feeling of freedom was a massive reset for me and brought back a lot of my creative energy and gave me a lot of clarity about the goals that I'm still pursuing today. Looking back, this trip was also important for me because I slowly started to move away from street photography to pursue a more documentary approach. But above all, I allowed myself to start calling the work I do art. Well, I had to get back into photography in the first place because I hadn't spent enough time on it previously. Spain is a really diverse country and much of this diversity can be seen in Andalusia, the southernmost part of Spain. We spent most of our time in Granada because a visit to the Alhambra was at the top of our agenda. The Alhambra is a huge Moorish palace complex that has been built and rebuilt over the centuries. Something always captivated me, no matter where I looked. The history is really exciting and if you are ever in Andalusia, visit the Alhambra if you can. Granada itself is situated at an altitude of 738 meters, which has the advantage that it's pleasantly cool in the evening and that you have a spectacular view over Andalusia and the Sierra Nevada. Tapas are an important part of the Andalusian culture. They are served for free with a drink and you often get really special things. I read a recommendation somewhere that you should visit the tapas bars where there are lots of napkins on the floor because you can tell that these tapas bars are well frequented. I stuck to it and I wasn't disappointed. The city center of Granada looks much more urban than I expected and feels like more than the 228,000 inhabitants that Granada currently has. A really lively and cool place. Most of the time, however, we let ourselves wander and I try to take in as much of life in Andalusia as possible. The colors, the landscape and the architecture were so inspiring to me that I couldn't help myself. I truly believe that Andalusia gave me back my creative energy, which I thought I had lost for a long time, and I'm eternally grateful to the place. I'm sure many other places in the world could have done something similar, and in the end it was more about the time out, but it just so happened that I ended up there. Anyone who knows me better will know that I've always talked about how I was an Andalusian donkey in my previous life, and that at some point in my life I really wanted to live and work there for a while. 
Looking back, it all seems so logical and so simple, but for me this time out was one of the most important decisions. Because at the time I didn't realize that I would have to go back to the reasons why I chose my path back then and realign my professional career with them. The time at the beginning of my self-employment was just right because I was able to change a lot and focus on completely different clients. In my case, with the new freedom, it was suddenly clear that I wanted to work creatively again, maybe even had to, although not for production companies or agencies, but for my own clients from the corporate world or my own projects, such as my photography or this YouTube channel here. I hope you enjoyed this more personal video. If so, I would be very happy if you subscribed. See you next time.